Well, good evening, my Facebook friends and YouTube friends worldwide. Mr. Sunshine coming to you live right here, right now, as we just got another uh, six calipers uh, in to, uh, today, and we went ahead, stripped them all out. Uh, we took the time out tonight to get it done because uh, Mr. Sunshine just got so much to do. Um, as you can plainly see, this is how it goes. All right, we got a lot of material to talk about right now. Um, we sh we did this uh, the other last week with the other set that have already been done. Uh, this is the uh, set right here. These continue to go on here just like this. So you've got your calipers set up just like that. There's no spacers in this one. These were just direct connect uh, like this. Uh, we took the pistons out. All right. Um, one of the biggest things, and, and this is for the YouTube for my friends, uh, when you send these out to have them rebuilt, be careful who you have doing it and find out exactly what they're going to do. Look at this, this old ring here. I'm going to pull that ring right out of there. All right, because what's happening here is um, they're putting a seal kit in and they're reusing, a lot of them are reusing the old pistons. And the old pistons with all the corrosion on them, Look at it, you got rust on them. Uh, they, they get themselves galled up inside there. Uh, and, and you can see, look at that, that, that's actually rust. That's actually where the chrome uh, actually, because of water got in there. Uh, and I'll show you. And what people are, look, look at this. Now, how in the world, this one was rebuilt. This was rebuilt because they had new, brand new brake pads in there. And they put seals in. But this is what this is rust. There, that's not dirt. They actually shoved the old piston right back in there, and and then they wonder why the uh, things seize up in there because uh, it's such close tolerance. You can just go ahead and buy these. They come already. You can buy them. Do the job right. You're not, you know, saving. You're trying to save yourself a couple of dollars. Uh, when you're when you're rebuilding these now these are going to get totally glass beaded they're going to get sandblasted uh, with glass beads I should say they're going to get polished they're going to get all the holes blown out they're going to get all new valves they're going to get all new seals we're going to put all new pistons in there okay here's the seal kit the seal kit looked fairly new but whoever did it just threw the old piston look at this look at the rust Look at the rust on here, you know, and nobody would know because you're throwing it back under a 6,000-pound car. But then, look at this. They, they actually put this right back into the car. So whoever worked on this uh, probably charged them a fortune, all right? And then they just went ahead and put the old corroded up, look at this, with all the chrome peeling out. And what happens uh, inside that, this is actually a, a one for the uh, rear brake. But uh, this goes over here. These are such a tight tolerance in pistons right there. You see that? It's just barely fit it in. But with, with, the, with, the, uh, with the corrosion on there, it's not going to fit down in there. Look at this. They, they didn't do anything. All that Whoever did this just threw the thing together, threw a new seal on it, and called it a day. And, you know, it, it's amazing because I had to sit here and get these the rusted ones out because you can't rebuild uh, the client's thing using the old pistons because uh, if somebody ever takes it apart and says, hey, who did this? You know, it's, a, it, it's, it's somebody got ripped off, okay? It's as simple as that. Mechanic out there ripped this poor guy out, and then he's wondering why his brakes don't work. Uh, you know, and, and he's watching my videos on YouTube, he says, how the hell do you polish it up? How do you make it look uh, as only you can? How do you sit there and take it apart when you got a brand new one here? This is one I just did, all right, with a brand new seal, a brand new piston. You see that piston in there? That piston's brand new. You got the new, oh, everything's polished here. We're waiting for the O-rings for this. All right. Uh, as a matter of fact, whoever would have done this, they probably used the old O-ring that was smashed from 40 years ago, and they throw it together because they're not never going to know. Well, you know what? When I take it apart and I'll call you out on it, all right, it's, it's just a fucking shame. It's really a shame 
that uh, look at this. Why would you even go put that? Why would you even shove that back down in there? All right, you're going to get the the the, the caliper seized. As a matter of fact, I had another guy call me today, and uh, he said, "Hey, I just watched your video, and uh, my mechanic, uh, the caliper's freezing up and it's burning up on the back wheel." I said, "Well, did he rebuild?" "Oh yeah, he said he rebuilt it." I said, "Well, if it's burning up the back wheel, if it's smoke poured out, obviously he has a piston that seized in there." All right, and, and the seizing's going up against your rotor. It's catching fire, and you're going to end up burning your car down. All right, oh, oh well, I said, well, you're going to have to take that caliper out and, 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 and send it to me. Send me the fucking caliper because I'll take it apart down to the last nut bolt washer, and we're going to glass beat it. We're going to pull out all of that in there. We're going to get rid of all of that stuff in there. We're going to put new seals, new pistons, and then we'll have it all done for you. huh? And you'll see it on video just like this one here. Brand new seal, brand new ring, brand new O-ring, brand new everything. And then this is going to, when we put it together, it's going to get polished again. You're going to think you had a brand new chrome-plated caliper on it. You know, it amazes me. It amazes me that people will just go ahead and fuck you. They'll just throw shit together. Look at it. I, I, I can't even believe, I can't even believe he called this a rebuilt caliper. All right, this is the small piston. This is, the, I'll be with you in just one second. This is the small piston that comes out of the rear caliper. Okay, once it's jammed in, look at this, it's all corroded. There, once that's, you shove it in there. With a, normally, you're supposed to be able to push it in, line it down there, put your seal on he probably beat it in with a hammer at some point to get it past the rust. And then it's seized up inside the thing. Okay, so, you know, it just goes on and on. But anyway, we're, 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 my client is seeing this. Uh, when I download it to YouTube, I send him the link so he can see everything has been taken out. Everything's been removed. All this old shit is going to get thrown out. in the dump. There is no cleaning it. There is no uh, scuffing it. There ain't no wire wheel in it. There ain't no nothing, okay? Just stop ripping people off. Do the job right or don't do it at all, okay? I'm just sitting down here all night beating these damn things out. And the guy told me, that, oh, yeah, yeah, I had a guy rebuild them and, and, and the calipers flock it up. Well, we see why. There's why it's being locked up. Because we just got done dismantling. Look at that. I got them already cleaned. I haven't even done anything but put them in the tank. Pulled everything apart. It don't look bad. And that's all got to get polished in there. We got the, the, the proper tools to go in there to polish that out. We got a tool that's going to go in there and clean that ring where you're putting the O-ring in. That O-ring's got to lay flat in there with all of this crap and shit. Look at this. Look at all the gunk. All right. This was a rebuilt caliper. And the guy's wondering why it don't work. Okay. Well, we're showing you why it don't work. This is it right here. So there it is. You're getting the opportunity to show you exactly what it's all about right here, right now. So I'm trying to get done here tonight. Uh, I'm done for the day. i got to put everything away. And uh, here's a matter of fact, there's the calipers, the done ones. Those are the done. That's polished. That ain't, that ain't silver paint. That's the real deal. There's the rest of the old pistons there that are going to get all thrown out. But uh, there it is right there. So Mr. Sunshine... Rolls-Royce Technician Eddie with another tutorial on brake calipers and when people don't put them together right, trying to rip off the customer, uh, this is a prime example of what happens. All right, pick up that phone, 561-693-8636. Mr. Sunshine, coming to you live right here, right now, in sunny South Florida. Thank you for watching.